Miscellaneous charges are additional invoice amounts that are included on order documents, such as shipping or handling fees. For each miscellaneous charge, enter a currency code, if multi-currency is selected, and then a unique code. Here's one for handling charges. Miscellaneous charges can assign a default amount. However, if the amount constantly changes, like shipping and handling charges typically do, it might be better to leave this field blank. This way, the correct amount is more inclined to be entered when the default is zero, rather than potentially leaving the wrong default amount. If the miscellaneous charge is always the same amount, then certainly enter that amount here, so it will be entered automatically during data entry. Even if there is a default, the amount can still be changed when entering transactions. Each miscellaneous charge needs to be assigned a General Ledger revenue account number. ACPAC uses this account for posting transactions using this miscellaneous charge. Default item tax settings can also be assigned to miscellaneous charges. This way, those miscellaneous charges that are taxable and those that are not can be identified. Remember that only those miscellaneous charges requiring tax authorities that are different from the default tax class code 1 need to be entered. For example, if your tax class code 1 value for all your item tax authorities was defined as taxable and the miscellaneous charge is taxable, you do not need to enter tax authorities here. If, however, the miscellaneous charge is not taxable, but all your tax class code ones were identified as taxable, you will need to list them here with the appropriate non-taxable code. Let's take a look at ship via codes.